Hi, uh, hello everybody. Uh, this is the second um, of our uh, um, monthly presentations. This one we figured it'd be a little better to do it on video. So as you can see, I've got just a uh, PowerPoint up here. And uh, uh, the biggest thing in, in my mind this month is, is two 30 year anniversaries uh, that we're celebrating. Um, we're having a, a shrimp boil here in Sun Prairie uh, just on this, this Friday for Mr. Paul Phillips and Al Koberstein. They've both been with us for 30 years now. As you know, Paul's the uh, warehouse manager here in Sun Prairie, and Al's been a service tech at Palmer Johnson for 30 years. So congratulations, guys. That's an amazing achievement, and I uh, look forward to eating some shrimp with you on Friday. Uh, we have a number of new employees that, that either have already started with us or are going to be joining us shortly. Um, first is uh, Jim Chemnitz. He's a new service tech in our Addison branch. Jim was a mechanic at um, uh, ZF for, for a very good many years and he uh, knew a number of our people through trainings that, that had happened at ZF and field service calls. He's a great addition to the Addison branch. Uh, Dan Fowler. Uh, has uh, been named the new service manager in Oklahoma City. He's going to be starting just in a few weeks. He's currently at H&E Equipment. He's been the service manager there for a long time and uh, we're very excited about him uh, taking on that role. He's in Tulsa right now and he's going to be moving into Oklahoma City. Uh, I think you might recognize that next name there. Um, by the way, this is uh, Jim here. Uh, I don't have a picture of Dan yet. and I. I I have a hunch that Pete Bykowski could supply you a picture of Tom if <laughs> uh, if uh, you want to see uh, see that. Uh, Tom has been hired uh, as an inside salesperson. He's going to be starting just in a couple weeks here in Sun Prairie. He's just graduated from uh, school in Southern Illinois. Really excited to have him. And uh, Zach Applegate, uh, who uh, stepped away for about six weeks, maybe a couple months. Uh, uh, saw the light and he's coming back, so we're really excited to have back, uh, Zach back as an inside sales uh, person in Lenexa. Uh, we also have uh, an engineering intern, I meant to have his last name up here, but I just didn't get it. Uh, his name is Tim, anyway, and he's going to be starting here in Sun Prairie also just uh, in the next few days here. Um, exciting promotion too, John Hennigan, uh, former service manager in Addison, is going to uh, take on the role of outside salesperson in the um, uh, in the territory that's that's uh, based in Chicago, um, so congratulations, John. I think that's a, a great move. Uh, it's just as long as you don't wear that sweater out on sales calls. There we go. Pardon me. Uh, uh, currently have three open positions. This. Uh, I just mentioned John Hennigan's leaving the service manager role in, in Addison. It'll be uh, so creating an opening there that's currently posted. We're looking um, for a remand manager here in Sun Prairie and also a serv uh, one service tech in White Bear Lake currently. Uh, other things going on around the company the Get Fit PJ program kicked off last week here in Sun Prairie. The members, um, uh, a number of people applied. The members that were selected were Theo. Bo, Mike, Kopetsky, and Eric Wirtz. Um, so like I said, we kicked it off here in Sun Prairie last week and uh, really pretty excited about this program. Um, we supplied uh, all the uh, participants with uh, Fit, Fitbit bands, uh, like you see here, uh, Wi-Fi scales. We're getting started on a nutrition program for the, um, the participants. Um, smoking cessation as it applies and also uh, an access to a uh, personal trainer. I think it's, um, this is a great uh, group of people and I think they're really going to set a good tone for this program and hopefully af after uh, this is successful we'll be rolling out future programs, um, future um, uh, classes of the Get Fit PJ program. Oops. I'll figure this out. Uh, recently I just uh, sent an article on the tour to PJ. We did this back in 2010. It's uh, it's uh, one of my favorite events and that's going to be kicking off on Monday so uh, get ready to roll. We're going to, um, I'll be sending updates and uh, there's, we're going to have a new way to log your, um, your activity uh, level 
it's going to go through SharePoint. Uh, Nate 2.0 is working that, on that right now. Um, performance. Um, I think most of you have seen Glenn's articles that he's written uh, over the last couple weeks. Um, the, where we're at right now in this bonus period, it looks like bonus is likely it's going to be substantially smaller um, though than the last one that was paid out in December um, 2013. Um, and the reasons, I know Glenn's been through all this, but roughly a million dollars in gross profit from that last period came from 8500s and um, we just don't have that in this bonus period. Um, good news is uh, Daryl Bailey just did make a sale of 18 units. The first two units shipped uh, today, I believe, um, and there's going to be 16 more coming up in the next couple months, so that's good. Still, I mean, we, we have to be able to make these kinds of numbers not depending on, the, on these 8,500 sales. Um, and if you want more background, if you haven't already read Glenn's articles, I suggest you go do that. But even though this period um, hasn't been as strong, um, I'm really happy about, about the way things uh, are going overall. Um, two, three key measures um, uh, we're doing very, very well on. Those are inventory is now where it should be. Debt is also where it should be. And, and we've been making an effort to diversify from twin disk so we're not as dependent on twin disk. And that number's moved from about the 80% level down to 40% uh, of our sales. So they're all three really good things. This is uh, an illustration of our uh, debt. This is over 10 years, and you can see uh, right now, due to uh, primarily our inventory um, decreases, and also we did have uh, a very good period when, when we were selling all those 8,500s and performing well, we paid down a lot of debt. You can see we're down from as high as almost 12 million to where we're at right now, 2.0 million. That's fantastic. Um, and this is an illustration of our in, uh, inventory. You can see back uh, two years ago, we were up at um, an average of 17 million. And, and you see we've been aggressively um, managing that, and it's down under 12 at, 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 the, um, at the moment. All really good stuff. Uh, <laughs> this week, uh, I think many of you know we had a uh, meeting with the directors in, in uh, Milwaukee uh, earlier this week, and we made some, some decisions, I think some good ones. Uh, we decided to end the green lights um, as a requirement for your bonus, um, so you can all just applaud right now if you want to. I know it has been the most popular program, and uh, personally I, I don't think that um, the stick kind of fits the PJ culture. Um, I do think it was effective in, in getting us going in some things though, like training and, and lean. I think it, it did help move us forward in those two fronts. And, and we don't want those kinds of activities by any means to, to stop or slow down at all. Training and lean are going to be more important to us as we go forward. But, but going forward, it's going to be between you and your manager. It will not be a requirement for the bonus, including this period. So for those of you who have already completed your green lights, appreciate it. Um, it is not going to be a requirement for this period, however. Uh, another thing we decided, we uh, talked a lot about uh, the um, phone system and the audio auto attendant uh, is going live for all customers uh, as of Monday, May 19th. So I know there, if you do need to contact any customers between now and then, I urge you to, to get on the phone with them and if, if it applies, give me your direct, direct number so they can contact you directly if, if that's what they'd prefer to do. Uh, and the big news uh, uh, upcoming is, is we're doing another uh, PJ gathering. I'm excited, super excited about it. It's going to be, uh, I just checked this place out. It's going to be in Fontana, Wisconsin at a resort called the Abbey. Uh, we're working on uh, planning uh, events for it. I think it's going to be, um, I'm going to put together a good program. The dates are October 10th to the 12th uh, at the Abbey Resort, so that's a Friday to a Sunday, so please uh, put that on your calendar. We're committed to it. We, we, we're signed up. Uh, we're we're going to have dinner on that boat. Um, I think it's going to be a good time, and especially now with the, um, uh, the way um, 
the transition we're going through, I think it's even more important than ever for us to get together and see each other face to face. Uh, so I'm, I'm really excited about this and look forward to seeing everybody back together again uh, uh, in a few months. Uh, so that's all I have for uh, this month. We're going to continue to do this monthly. And uh, I'd like you uh, guys, hopefully it worked out that you got to have lunch uh, with your branch um, and, and see this. Uh, so keep up the good work, everybody, and uh, uh, someone will be talking to you next month.